Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is sponsored by Hobby for this gorgeous yarn. This yarn is made of 100% cotton, and the color turned out to be absolutely beautiful. To find out more about this yarn, you can click on the link in the description box. The link to the written pattern is also available in the description box. This is the number two fine yarn. Each one of this is about 200 grams, which is 800 meters long. And it comes with a tag for an easy start. For this project, I use a five millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, yarn needle, and stitch marker is optional. Also, a button that measures about two centimeters. All right, let's get started. I'm using two strings of yarn. First, make a slip knot. Insert the hook. And make a foundation chain of 96, or a multiple of six. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Out the ninety six chains, at the end, add two more chains. One, two, so I have ninety eight chains. On the fourth chain, one, two, three, four, this one, turn to the back and place a double crochet into the back of the chain. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Again, double crochet into the next chain, Double crochet into the next chain. This is personal preference that I'm using the back of the chain, by the way. So on the first row, double crochet into every chain all the way across. This chain stitch also counts as a stitch. So by the end of the first row, we have 96 stitches, and it measures just over 20 inches. If you want this into a different size, then the starting chain could be in any number that's a multiple of six. To begin row two, two chains, one, two, and turn. This counts as a stitch. So the two chain is our first stitch. Then double crochet into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Total eight stitches, including the two chains. Increase in the next stitch. So place two double crochet in this stitch. One, two. And the repeat of this row is going to be double crochet into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So double crochet into fifteen stitches. One, two. If your total number on the first row is different from mine, use that number divided by six and minus one. For example, I have 96 on the last row. 96 divided by six is 16, minus one is 15. 
So row two is double crochet into 15 stitches. Then increase into the next stitch. One, two, double crochet into 15 stitches, then increase all the way across. And I meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row, I have seven stitches left. Double crochet into the last seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. The last stitch is on top of the chain. Seven. Seven stitches at the end plus eight stitches at the beginning, that's 15 stitches. The reason I'm doing it this way is because I don't want the last stitch to be an increased stitch. If you don't want to do the math, then just go ahead and do 15 double crochet, then increase from the beginning to the end. Anyway, I have 102 stitches at the end of row 2. To begin row 3, 2 chains and turn. This always counts as a stitch. Double crochet into the next 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 stitches. Then increase. We are placing an increased stitch into the second stitch of the increased stitch from the last row. And it's optional if you want to use a stitch marker, so that way you don't need to count the stitches. The repeat is double crochet into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So double crochet into 16 stitches. Then increase. And repeat this all the way across. And I meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row, place a double crochet into the last 8 stitches. Total 1 of 8 stitches. And make sure not to miss the chain stitch. 8 double crochets at the end plus 8 double crochets at the beginning, total 16 stitches. To begin row 4, 2 chains and turn. Double crochet into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 stitches. Total 9 double crochet stitches, including the 2 chain. Then increase. The repeat of this row is double crochet into 17 stitches. Then increase. And repeat this all the way across. 17 double crochet, then increase.
At the end of the wall, double crochet into the last 8 stitches. 8 stitches at the end, plus 9 stitches at the beginning, that's 17 stitches. Total 114 stitches. So we are making increased rows. Each row we are increasing by 6 stitches. You can stop at any length you like. I stopped on row 37 with 312 stitches. And it measures 15 inches, just below my elbow. Once you are happy with the length, we are going to begin part 2 of the pattern. To begin part 2, 2 chains. 1, 2, and this counts as a stitch. And turn. Double crochet into the next 3 stitches. One, two, three. Total four stitches, including the two chain. One chain, skip one, double crochet. One chain, skip one, double crochet into three stitches. One, two, three, one chain, skip one, double crochet, one chain, skip one, double crochet into three stitches. One, Two, three, one chain, skip one, double crochet, one chain, skip one, and double crochet into the next three stitches. And repeat this all the way across. At the end of the row, out of the double crochet stitch, one chain, skip one, double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three, and double crochet into the next stitch. So four double crochet. It is not necessary to place a double crochet into the top of the two chain here. We started with four double crochet at the beginning and we want to end with four double crochet. So we are working with 311 stitches on part 2, which is 1 stitch less from the previous part of the pattern. To begin the next row, 1 chain and turn. This 1 chain does not count as a stitch. From here, single crochet into 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 stitches. One, two, three, four. The last one goes into the chain space. Five. On the next stitch, place a front pose bubble stitch. Let's yarn over and insert around the pose like this. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert around the post. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert around the post. Yarn over, pull up a loop. And we should have seven loops on the hook. I'm sorry, the yarn is a bit too dark to tell, but there are seven loops. Yarn over. And pull through seven loops. Single crochet into the chain space and single crochet into the next four stitches. So total five single crochet stitches.
Fan pose bubble stitch. Yarn over, insert around the pose. Yarn over, pull up a loop once. Yarn over, insert around the pose twice. Yarn over, insert around the pose three times. Yarn over, pull through seven loops. Single crochet into five stitches. Front pose bubble stitch. Yarn over, insert around the pose three times. Whip seven loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through seven loops. Single crochet into the next five stitches. And this is the repeat, and I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row, single crochet into the last five stitches. And single crochet into the top of the chain stitch. Total 3 11 stitches. And this is the right side of the pattern. To begin the next row, two chains. And this counts as a stitch. And turn. Double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three, including the two chain, we have four stitches. One chain, skip one, double crochet, one chain, skip one, double crochet into three stitches. One, two, three, one chain, skip one, double crochet, one chain, skip one, double crochet into the next three stitches. This is the repeat of row one. Row three and row four is the repeat of row one and row two. And I meet you at the end of row four. At the end of row 4, single crochet into the last 5 stitches, including the chain stitch. 1 chain, and cut yarn. And part 2 is complete. Now I have it laid in front of me. The right side, the bubble stitches are facing down. The inside is facing up. And we're going to attach a new working yarn on the first stitch over here. Insert the new working yarn and tie a knot. Insert hook, pull up a loop, one chain to begin. In the same stitch, place three half double crochet. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three loops, that's one. Two, three. On the next stitch, place three half double crochet.
and we are placing three half double crochet into every stitch. And I meet you at the end of the wall. At the end of the wall after the last stitch, one chain and cut yarn. Lastly, within all the tails, attach a button and make sure the button fits in the double crochet stitches. I hope you liked today's tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not. Hit the like button and the notification bell and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!